This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the most requested locks on this channel, the Light Lock Gold, which is to my knowledge the only flexible bike lock with a sold secure gold rating. This lock's made a big name for itself with YouTube marketing videos, showing them being attacked with a variety of different tools for several minutes at a time, and of course there are no failures shown. I have to say that I am very skeptical of those videos, and I'm going to destructively test this lock to see just how realistic the videos are. I may end up eating my words, but I predict this lock will last somewhere around 30 seconds without me using power tools, so look for that video soon. But today, we're going to see what it takes to pick this open. Before we do that, however, a word about the construction. As best I can tell, this lock strap contains six steel cables over-molded in rubber, and then we have this nylon mesh around it. The strap is attached to a fairly beefy steel lock housing containing a disc detainer core. Now there are two things that surprised me about this lock when I first received it. The first is the weight. This lock's title feature is that it's light. It's called the light lock. Yet at just shy of two and a half pounds, it's actually heavier than many U-locks. This Kryptonite, for example, it's a CryptoLock Series 2, is a third of a pound lighter. The second surprise was how difficult this lock is to operate, even using the key. I have a lot of difficulty with it, and my wife, who I asked to open it up, was physically unable to do so. You really have to torque this thing around, there we go, to get that open. I don't know if this is just a problem with this specific lock, but I do think this sort of thing is inexcusable in a $130 product. Okay, enough about the lock. Let's see what it takes to pick this open. The first thing I'm going to do is rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. And then I'm going to use my bottom of the keyway tension tool. I tried the top of the keyway tool before and it didn't work, so I switched to bottom of the keyway and it opened up pretty quickly. Okay, I have that on the bottom disc, so now let's try to find the top disc and start picking. Okay, I think I have one. I think I got a little click there. Okay, little click out of two. Nothing on three, four, or, oh, I just hit five, and we just opened up. There we go. Like I said, it's a little bit tough to open. So as you saw, this wasn't that hard to open. The discs inside are actually pretty thin, which makes it a little bit more tricky, but not all that much harder. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Be on the lookout for a destructive test of this lock soon, but in the interim, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.